do you know what you are looking at? What you are looking at is the only question CXC brought on bases binary numbers. Express 6 is a binary number. One man. Can you do this? Can you do this? Express 6 is a binary This is the answer actually. And this solution was from my website um, where I have all these solutions. But theoretically they can get tougher questions than this based on what we have in the syllabus this is what is in the syllabus you find okay everything you find that in the first topic numeracy computation that topic number seven state the value of a digit of a numeral in a given base place value and face value of numbers in bases too that kind of ambiguous it's not really clear what you're yeah, what you're working with here yeah, what the limits are what they can bring so i'm just going to teach you everything and uh, you'll secure the bag if any question on bases come even if it's that easy easy peasy like this or if it's something involving one of these four converting base 10 to base 2, base 2 to base 10, working with other bases and operations in bases. This one may be a push, but you know, we can still we can still do the thing. Let's go. First question we are going to answer is how to express 6 as a binary number. How to express a number that's in the decimal system converted to base 2 system. And it's kind of simple. It's, it's real easy. This is the question from the past paper. So 2 into 6. How many times can 2 go into 6? 3 times. How many times can 2 go into 3? 1 time. How many times can 2 go into 1? 0 times. So this is, a kind, this is the kind of pattern. What does remind you of? Uh, prime factorization eh? from primary school. But the key here is that you need to actually state the remainders. So I didn't state the remainders. So let me just go back and get those remainders. 2 went into 6 3 times. But the remainder zero you understand so let me just write zero here we normally write the remainders down here this is the technique that i show my students to do this this is the best way two into three one remainder one this last part here important eh? because two can't go into one so you put zero but this remain it also leaves a remainder of one and the idea is that you read it going this way so it's like if you starting here and you reading that going up the road so your answer don't forget that so your answer is going to be six in base 10 is equal to one one zero in base two and you put it right there like a subscript that means base two and that's it let's try next one what is the equivalent for 13 in base two this is asking you the same thing convert this to base two and you're going to do the same method actually this is like a little game you're playing during the exam this is fun you can see the fun on my face right now i uh, didn't put the remainder so let me go back two into 13 two could two went into 13 six times remainder one two into six three remainder zero so one zero Two into three, one time remainder one. Oh, this first part was from before. So, but but but, but we have to read it like this. So the answer is thirteen in base ten is equal to one one zero one, and you put a little two there for in base two. Don't read this like a thousand one hundred and one. You don't read so it. One one zero one. Just call out each individual digits. What next? what next how do we count how do we count now we count in the decimal system we have nine digits what are the nine digits we start off with like okay let's start off with like zero we start off with zero one two three four five the parrot starting up six seven eight nine and those are our ten digits zero to nine not 10 10 is actually a combination of two previous digits 10 is the 1 and the 0 coming here and then 11 12 13 14 15 and just like that when we reach 20 we're gonna go on here 
and this will take a long journey all the way up to 100 and when we reach 100 we start over and then we make a journey after so it's a kind of 10 system 10 the nary decimal system after every 10 something has happened after every hundred something has happened after every thousand every ten thousand every you catch the idea now we could count with other systems and we just use the denary system because 10 10 fingers it just feels natural but computers for example use this binary system that we do we do um just now so watch it it is this is a beautiful thing it will blow your mind you start with zero then you go to one but in the binary system you a base two you only have two di digits you could never write the number two two don't even exist in that thing um, at least the digit two don't exist so you can't write two here you need to start over and remember when we start over we start back over using a combination of the previous digits and then we go on one x well, we run out of digits again, so we need to start off again. And you're making a nice little pattern here. I wonder if anybody see any pattern, boy. Run out of digits again. See it? It's beautiful, eh? Now, if you're not understanding this story, then generally this, the idea and the full concept and understanding of this isn't tested. You just need to know how to convert from one base to the next base and I'll show you how to go back. I'm going to show you how to go back just now. But I, I really wanted to show this for like the students who are interested in seeing how it works. So, if we counted these numbers like if we were doing the base 10 normal thing what are going to happen at zero one two three four five six remember we just proved that six was one one zero seven eight just how all these numbers exponent two to the power of something uh, lots of stuff you can discover with this now so can you guess what will happen here what's going to happen there the next number anyhow let's go and learn how to convert if you started off in a base 2 and you want to get back your decimal number the, the fastest way to do this one is to draw a table let me show you it so in this part of the table we're going to put the number itself but watch this in this part of the table now we're going to actually put the place value what they represent and this is not ones, tens, hundreds, it's something else. It go like this. This is like two to the power of zero, which is one. This is two to the power of one, which is two. This is two to the power of two, which is four. And this is two to the power of three, which is eight. Or you could just write ones, Two column, the four column, the eight column. What will the next column be? Not sixteen, and the next one, not thirteen. Ah, uh, sorry, thirty-two. So those are like the place values when you're dealing with base two, and you can memorize that. Pay attention to this. The next step is how you're going to get the answer. You're going to multiply the numbers. Before I multiply, just remember this was the place values in base two, and this was the number itself right the number that was given so we multiply now one by one one zero by that zero zero by that zero one by eight eight and the idea is that you need to come now and add up this yeah add yeah adding up the products of the place value and the number you're adding up all these numbers in blue here eight plus zero plus zero plus one nine so it means the answer is nine if i convert this number from base 2 back to the original base 10 what we like what we do for everything in maths that you know you're gonna get 9 you get the place values you write the number itself you multiply practice this practice this something simple like this could just sneak into the exam I just realized I do number 2 first I wanted to do number 1 well let me do number 1 real quick what you need to do draw the table put in your base 2 place values Put in the original number itself, multiply, then add them up. 
what the answer gonna be yeah so one zero one 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 base two is 16 plus 4 plus 2 23 in the base 10 right but base 10 is kind of understood so leaving it out is not the end of the day but if you're feeling paranoid in base 10 would work so there technically isn't any limit to how much other bases there are but we only see in the syllabus base 2, base 4, base 8 and base 10 what makes your life easier is that it's the same processing like if I want to convert 196 base 10 to base 8 you're using the same division idea so you'll be like 8 into 196 is 24 and remember the remainder is what's important so the remainder is 4 8 could only go into 24 what, 3 times with a remainder of 0 8 could go into 3 no time with a remainder of 3 so the answer is read this way I'll catch it 196 base 10 is equal to 304 base 8 and if we are asked to scale up from another base back to the denarius back to the decimal system back to base 10 we do the same place value table thing drop your table place values but keep in mind the place values are a little different here because remember this is like 4 to the power of 0 is 1 4 to the power of 1 is 4 4 to the power of 2 is 16 the next one will be 4 to the power of 3 whatever that number is and then you're going to put in the number itself that came from here right then what was next multiply it's 3 times 16 man. 48 then add up so 3 1 2 is really equal to 5 4 54 base 10 48 plus 2 plus 4 54. what do you think you think you can handle bases if it pop in your exam there is this unicorn that can happen that you can ask you to do operations in bases like add two base two numbers together there's a long way there's a long way you could like change just to base 10 change just to base 10 add them like how you know how to add for your whole life and then change it back to base 2 but that's a long way you can actually add these two using base 2 and i think what really makes this easy is understanding that 2 is the limit in base 2 so like you can't write 2 just like when base 10 you can't write 10 like if you had something like 56 plus 14 when we add the 46 we get 10 so we used to bring across our 1 here remember that similarly in this case 1 and 0 is 1 0 and 0 is 0 but 1 and 1 is 2 we can't write 2 here that's not allowed so we're gonna put like the 0 here bring across the 1 1 and 1 make 2 we still can't write 2 so you bring across an additional 1 so take some time and meditate on this and see if you understand this vibe that I'm giving here I think now is a good time to pause and let you know that yes, I do have online classes. WhatsApp this number and you're inside. Actually, you have a whole online lessons place called the Student Hub T S H, and you can get classes in Cape, CSEC, any other subject. WhatsApp this number. It's 200 TT a month. Love and lessons. Can you try this question? It's in base four. I'm leaving you with this one. See if you can write the answer in the chat below. Have one lessons for the video help. Subscribe, share, like, do the YouTube thing. It's been a while since I've been doing videos like this. Let me know if you want to see some more. What C-Sex subject you want me to do? Later.